Good morning, folks. Let's start with quakes. Iceland again rang in the high 5 or 6 magnitude range. And let's go ahead and take a deeper look, literally. Focusing on the southeast quadrant of the nation, we're going to see the earthquakes by depth and magnitude in this area. On this page, you can set the magnitude and timelines for the listed quakes, and on the 3D diagram, you can twist and turn and take looks at the underground activity from every angle. Perspective is good. By the way, they downgraded that earthquake to 5.1. We also took two above average tremors in the Caribbean. The fours and higher are rare. Also have a slight uptick in the South Pacific. The southernmost corona hole that stole focus from the northern leader will be earth facing today and be relevant for a few. Bartol, it's like you don't even care that we're watching. Muon's still not reading above 101. Solar flaring indeed had a small and brief uptick before plummeting back. Primary eruption came from a departing zone actually, on the right. Last night we saw that the ejecta was probably heading well ahead of our orbital trajectory and the endless spiral confirms an Earth miss here. Solar wind shows some density bunching as the speed slows down. It's nothing major, but nearly all sensitive flux picked it up. The electrons, the protons, both high energy and low energy. Sunspots turning in look fairly solid, but when you take a closer look, there is a fair bit of separation between the umbral and penumbral regions, and the candidates for magnetic mixing between polarities is sparse at best, maybe a tad worth south of the trailing spots. I'll ask that you recall the US August climate report showing cooler temperatures dominating the month. A good balance of hot and cold extremes persisted globally June through August, with August itself dipping a little bit lower. And just look, now how did they get away with publishing this chart to the media and calling it the warmest August ever? Climate change extremes are going to bite the lone warming wolves in the behind this winter. Rosetta's latest looking like the previous ones except for a curious feature illuminated in the distant portion of the frame. That white thing is like nothing we've seen on this comet and really looks like it doesn't belong there. Interesting. Maven has arrived at Mars, just in time to prepare to hide on the opposite side of the planet when comet sighting spring whips by in four weeks. Devastation in the Philippines from Typhoon Feng Wong, and we're hearing Taiwan didn't fare much better. Right now the storm is less than 100 miles from Shanghai. North America sees another Gulf moisture flow into the west, a convergence sweeping back east, and a high pressure cell driving south on its east edge bringing snow possibilities to New England a day after the global warming march on New York. Flash floods expected, and storms are widespread tonight. Be alert and check local forecasts. Europe, the storms and precipitation zones are spreading such that I just want to tell your entire continent to check your local forecasts except for the UK and Ireland. Southwestern convergence, northeastern low, and a flow right atop New Zealand. Those are the watch zones, but we do expect them to shift very quickly in the next few hours. Folks, that central erupting filament a few days ago indeed kept the quake ramp to those unusual location rumbles when it disrupted the northern coronal hole. Her southern extension will try its luck the next two to three days, 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time. 4.30 a.m. Mountain Time as the Mobile Observatory rolls back east across the country. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.